Hitman Absolution. We are doing Shaving Lenny on Normal. Double A Gamer for Life. Okay, so the first uh, few videos I showed you how to get those challenges. In the last one I showed you how to get the first sniping challenge. And now uh, now we're going to complete this area to get to the barbershop with the suit on and get our last two sniping challenges. Okay, so you grab the bottle, throw it up here, distract this guy, get up top to get the sniper rifle. Must be hearing stuff. Okay, so we're going to subdue this guy. Uh, since we want to try to keep the casualties down to a minimum and we also want to hide the body because uh, after we snipe a guy up in this the police will come up and we don't want him to find the body up here so we'll go ahead and stick him in here like a broom grab the sniping rifle Okay, that's our target, and he's walking away. So we'll be back for him. Okay, so if you go in the side door of the store here, not that that really matters, but it's convenient. Turn the radio on, let the, the lady storekeeper, like, hey, who turned that on? Who made the noise? Whatever. And I'm going to come up behind her and subdue her while the street is clear. And I can drag her off to a dumpster just because I don't need her in here saying, hey, you're not allowed back behind the counter. So... This is an easy way to get to get her out of the way. Nighty night. Okay, so this guy's coming back, so I need to get up there quick like. Now, I didn't have to run, and I probably shouldn't because it alerted the cop, but he doesn't come upstairs anyway, so. Okay, now, before uh, we leave, I'm going to just tell you, okay, in this room, there's a shotgun, and right behind the counter, I'll mention it when we leave, is a bat. And you want to make sure that you pick up the bat. There's a, the shotgun right up here to the right. And there's the remote explosives. And at some point, you want to pick up a radio. Um, so, like, if you leave this area, just go downstairs and pick that radio up. I believe at some point I might have picked it up and not got it in the videos, so... Telling you now that you need to pick up a radio. There's a bat, shotgun, remote exp uh, explosives, and one of the pistols. But, you know, that's just to give you. Anytime uh, you come across a weapon, you want to pick up a pistol. Okay, so our target was actually leaving the store and not coming in. So there was no need to run up here. So then we got a couple, a minute or so to wait for him to get back up here. And what we're going to do is we're going to just take him out and then snipe the guy across the way and then go back over to the donut shop to get the other guy.
All right, so here he comes. Go ahead and use our signature kill on him. I would definitely uh, make sure to pick up the remote uh, explosives. Uh, when you get to the barbershop, you know, if you decide to go gangster out there, having a remote explosive can't hurt. All right, so I just missed my opportunity. I didn't want to take the shot. So go ahead and pick up the shotgun. We got the explosives. Get the guy's pistol. There's also uh, a revolver right to the left on the little table. But if you subdue the cop, it's the same pistol, so... All right, so now it's just a matter of waiting for him to come back. Okay, so now he's back, and we're going to wait for the prime shot. He's leaning right over the thing. Nice and perfect headshot. All right, that's going to alert the cop downstairs. So just jump into the cabinet here and wait for the, the area to clear. And then we'll be off to our next target. Okay, so that took care of our second sniping challenge. All right, all right, this is the HPD. Whoever is causing this, show yourself. Just the voices in my head again. Okay. Give it a second. Let him get downstairs. And then you're free to move on. Okay, so right there when you walk through the beads is the bat. So make sure you pick that up. We just walked past that radio. Make sure to pick up that radio as well. All right, then you just notch a lot, walk over up to the donut shot here. We already hit the body up here, so after we take the shot, we'll have to run in there and wait for the, the warning level to go down. All right, so he's coming. Right. 
right in the temple, hide the, sh the rifle, and take a little leap into the closet here and wait for the police level to go down. Alright, so you can see we got all three targets down and we got a silent assassin going here. So after the police level goes down, now it's just a matter of getting out without uh, taking out too many people in the process. No, I can't explain it. I don't see shit, but it's, back, it's not right. Oh, Easy, look some careful. more. Over. Gotcha. Keep looking, guys. Keep sir, looking. I need you to clear the area. Clear the area, sir. Okay, so we're going to use the old car alarm trick like we did previous to clear out that area. Alright, who's screwing around? Okay, so in these videos, you saw me get the plumber's outfit, the mechanics, and the police officer. And, uh, got the other challenges done. We just, uh, sniped the three dudes, got our challenges done. Alright, now we're sneaking past this mechanic. We're not going to mess with this cop. Just going to go ahead and pick the lock and get to the barber shop. And that's going to take care of everything out in the uh, beginning part of Shaving Lenny. And that's our silent assassin getting out to the barber shop. And every challenge related to that. And if you didn't see it in the video, I pretty much told you about the lost and found items out there. And that's going to pretty much take care of all the items in the beginning part of this level. If you like the videos, you can always support us by checking out the ads.